Hey guys, what's going on? It's me here, uh, Zach, aka Jazzy Zen, and today we're going to do a different kind of video. We're going to just look at some of the Commander Legends uh, previews, check out what's going on on their website, look at some of these cards. I'll tell you how I feel about them, what I think about the, their power levels and stuff and their uses. Um, we'll check out what kind of reprints are going on, and yeah, uh, I'm excited. I don't know if you guys play Commander as much as I do, but me and my friends, we get together about like once a week, maybe sometimes twice, three times if it's a good week and we start playing so uh yeah uh let's hop into these uh card reviews i'm just gonna scroll through all these articles not really read into them too much and then just check out what uh cards are hiding away in here and with that said let's get started okay come kind of down here check click the meet the team this guy i saw earlier when it got released uh the piper kind of looks useless Good for draft, I guess, if you want to fix something. You want some uh, good cards to throw in your deck. All right. Tevesh Zat, Doom of Fools. Can be your commander. Uh, this is the guy that was the, the league. Um, so he's five mana, plus two, create an o, a 201 black throw creature tokens. Uh, just puts it at six, kind of, when it enters the battlefield. Uh, you may sacrifice another creature or planeswalker. If you do draw two cards, then draw another card if the sacrifice permanent was a commander. Okay. And gain control of all commanders. Put all commanders from the command zone onto the battlefield under your control. That's insane. Um, it has partner. I think you could pair this up with, like, green, for example. And uh, you could run doubling season, and then, boom, it comes into play at 8. And then you're like one turn away from stealing everybody's stuff. Pretty nuts. Uh, yeah, this guy seems insane. Pretty fun too. Um, let's see his will. Five mana. Choose one. If you control a commander as you cast this spell, you may choose both. Each opponent sacrifices a creature they control with the greatest power. And exile all cards from all opponent's graveyards. Then create X01 black thrall creature tokens. Where X is the greatest power among creatures exiled this way. Interesting. So it just kind of gives you fuel for things to be sacrificed. Uh, for 5 mana... I don't know. 5 mana, either exile... Like, if you have your commander... At 5 mana... I don't know if it's good. Um, it seems like it could do a lot of things. But you'd have to like be playing against like people with like dredge decks. Or somehow you're milling them too. I don't know, that card doesn't seem that great. But this is freaking sweet. Vampiric Tutor reprint. Dude, this is making me want to just get the box myself. I wasn't thinking about it before, but now I'm kind of into it. Search your, card, your library for a card and shuffle your library, put that card on top of it. You lose two life. That's sick. And this one looks super cool. It's the full art. Yeah, that's rad. Alrighty, so we already checked out what was going on in the Wizards uh, article page. Now let's check out Scryfall, see what other cards got revealed by content creators and people uh, out there on the web. So let's dive into these cards. And yeah, Kark the Thumbless. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery uh, spell, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, return that spell to its owner's hand. If you win the flip, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. Partner. Two mana, two, two. That can start slinging out spells, getting a bunch of uh, on cast effects. Pretty cool. Sounds pretty troll, but it seems pretty fun. Um, prying eyes, six mana. Draw four, then discard two. I don't like it. It's very expensive. Um, but maybe you have a way of reducing instant costs. I don't know. Confiscate, six mana. Enchant permanent. You control enchanted permanent. Now that's a card I can get behind. Uh, my friends group all hate when you steal their permanents, and that sounds so fun. I love doing that to them. I like that card. It's a little high on the mana cost, but it's pretty sick. Um, also, this dude stealing this potion from the person, that's a pretty good art uh, art piece. I like it. Uh, Mnemonic Deluge. Exile target industry or sorcery card from a graveyard. Copy that card three times. You may cast the copy without paying their mana cost. Exile Deluge. For nine mana this thing is insane like if you have like a windfall or and you get this off of with like a a golos or some kind of way to cast a spell for free that's pretty crazy and it has a really cool piece of art especially in the full art it's really cool looking 
Interpret the sign. Six mana. Scry three. Reveal the top card of your library. Draw cards equal to that card's converted mana cost. That's pretty sick. That's really cool. If you're doing like a like a Yuriko deck or Golos again, that's a really cool card. You can set things up really well and draw a whole bunch of cards that way. That's a pretty sick card. Six mana though it is a lot, but. If you have a good way of setting off the top of your deck, this card could be pretty sweet. I uh, already saw this one. Horizon Scholar. Six mana. Everything seems to be six mana. Uh, flying. When Horizon Scholar enters the battlefield, scry two. All right. The Moon Kraken. It's a pretty sick name. When uh, Brynolin, the Moon Kraken, enters the battlefield, or whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost six or greater, you may return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand partner and that's why they're all over six mana Alrighty, uh seems kind of hard to play you'd have to partner it with some sort of way that you can get ramp either like black or green um or you could just run it mono blue run a bunch of artifacts or something do whatever you want but yeah it's certainly an interesting effect return target non land permanent to its owner's hand you could either start flickering your own stuff or flickering their stuff it's pretty sick. So this is another side I found before looking at spoilers of uh, cards coming out. And I don't know how trustworthy this one is. It might have some of those ones that were leaked um, leaked from somebody stealing cards or whatever. But let's just take a look at this one see if there's any things that we haven't seen so far. So we got a Blade Griff prototype. Uh, 5 mana, 3-2 flying. When it deals combat damage to a player, destroy a non-permanent of that player's choice. Um... That one of my opponents controls. So it could be any other player's stuff. That's kind of cool. It's pretty politicky. You can like say, hey, let me hit you so you can blow up his thing. That's pretty sweet. Xenagos, uh, I'm sure we all know this card. Doubles something's power and toughness. Gives it haste and it's insane. Um, yeah, that card's crazy. Uh, Maelstrom Colossus. 8 mana, 7-7 seven, seven with Cascade. Pretty insane sounding. Uh, nine mana, nine nine. Phyrexian Triniform. When Phyrexian Triniform dies, create three three three, Golem artifact creatures. Encore at twelve. This is a sick card. This is like the coolest card I've seen so far. This thing is bonkers. It's absolutely bonkers. In like a red like artifact deck or like anything with artifacts where you're like sacrificing them to do some effect. This guy is sick. It's like the worm coil engine. Yeah, that, that card is awesome. Mindless automaton. Let's see what this guy does. When it enters the battlefield, two plus one plus one. So four mana, two, two. Pay one, discard a card, put a plus one plus one on it. Uh, remove two plus one plus ones on it, draw a card. I can see you making it very big easily in Commander. I could also see you drawing out your whole deck if you create uh some kind of loop with its own effect you could be able to do a lot not quite so sure how that would um work but i'm sure there's some busted way of abusing this guy's ability to draw and put counters on it um just for one mana the discarding the card part kind of sucks though um let's see four mana death touch when it enters the battlefield you become the monarch hey that's pretty sweet you get to draw a card at the end of your turn you can kill something with death touch Seems pretty cool to me. Um, Fiesta Shroud of Dusk. I mean, rather than pay two for each previous time you cast this spell, oh, from the commands on this game, you may pay two life that many times. That is an insane ability. Flying lifelink. Whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. This thing is so sick. Wow. That card is so cool. I mean, it instantly, like, can kill you if you run certain enchantments and stuff uh, and kill your opponents. And that's kind of lame. But there's a lot of cool ways you could play this. Could be pretty staxy. Uh, or you could, like, I don't know, group hug everybody, make things cost less, and entice them to cast spells. I don't know. Have a bunch of recursion. Seems pretty cool. Seems like a very unique uh, style to play. Uh, let's move on to the next one Mythic Equipment. Ooh. Equip creature gets plus two, plus two. Whenever equip creature attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life, 
create a 4-4 four, four angel token with flying that's tapped and attacking that player. For two mana equip for it, this thing is sick. This card is so cool. Making four fours is attacking the person who's in front or in first, beating them down. That's what I like to see. Sucks seeing everybody gang up on the guy that has the, the least amount of health. This incentivizes someone to take out the big dog. That's pretty cool. This guy looks really cool. The ghost of Ramirez de Pietro. Let's check him out. All right, Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro. Can't be blocked by creatures with toughness 3 or greater. Interesting. Whenever he deals damage to a player, choose up to one card in that graveyard that has been discarded or milled this turn. Put that card into its owner's hand. Partner. Whenever he deals damage to a player, I choose up to one card in any graveyard that has been discarded or milled and put it into its owner's hand. I mean, you got to be milling yourself somehow uh, to make this any good, right? I have no idea. Um, and then you just keep on adding cards back to your hand, so you're basically drawing out of your graveyard. Um, or you can make deals with people and give them cards that they need, but I don't see it. Yeah, I'm sure there's a card that goes along with it in here. Or some way of uh, self-milling that you're wanting to do that. It does help you with like uh, like a blue recursion kind of deal. Like a e-witness. Where you attack and you get a card back from your graveyard. Uh, it's pretty cool. You look at the Sire, Siren Storm Tamer. I hate this card in Historic. Super annoying. Never want to see this in the commander group ever. Despise the card. Uh, Siani Eye of the Storm. Flying whenever it attacks. Scry X or X is number attacking creatures with flying. That's pretty cool. It goes a lot uh, along with that uh, new Jumpstart Commander that's blue and white. Uh, cares all about flying and has a really cool artwork. Um, eight mana, Sphinx of the Second Sun. The beginning of your post-combat main phase, you get an additional beginning phase after this phase. Beginning phase includes untap, upkeep, and draw steps. What the heck? This card's crazy weird. That could be really busted in a lot of decks. Um, getting a second upkeep is already nuts. Second draw and untap is pretty nuts. It's That's a really good card. Um, it does cost 8 mana, but it does seem like the a late game bomb that some blue decks just want. A little janky, but it's pretty cool. All right. Eve's Eye of Flying, Creature Spells with Flying costs one less to cast. It's pretty sick. Um, whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, look at the top two cards of your library, put one of those cards into your hand, and the other two into the graveyard. Flash Flying. That's a pretty cool card. That would go well with this pirate. Um, you're filtering through your cards. You can pick which late game cards you want to add back with the pirate dude. Pretty cool. Fortunately, it does not have partner. So it cannot go with this card, but it can be one of the 99. We looked at these already, looked at these already, saw all of these. This one, I'll wait till it's actually revealed. There it is. That's the Commander Legends preview so far today. All right, guys, that's it for today's uh, previews. Uh, today is October 26th. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get some new juicy cards, some more reprints, see what they look like, and be able to catch up more on that then. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this kind of new video, and I'll check you on the next one.